हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज उदित वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई होप यू आर ऑल सेफ यूर इन दिस हार्ड टाइम्स सो सो टूडे इज वीडियो इज गोइंग टू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग लाइक इट इट इज इट इज इट इज द टॉपिक इज रियली वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग दैट्स वाई द होल वीडियो बिकम्स इंटरेस्टिंग सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दी वीडियो और बिफोर स्टार्टिंग एक्चुअल थिंग लेट मी आस्क यू वन थिंग लाइक इफ लेट्स यू आर ट्राइंग टू ऑर्डर समथिंग ऑनलाइन एंड वॉट यू फिगर आउट इज लाइक इंस्टेड ऑफ पेइंग समथिंग यू गेट इट फॉर फ्री सो सो दैट दैट फीलिंग इज रियली अमेजिंग राइट सो दैट एक्चुअली हैपन विद मी ऑल्सो आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू प्लेस एन ऑर्डर फॉर फॉर सम ऑनलाइन टेस्टिंग लाइक सम सम ब्लड ब्लड टेस्टिंग आई टू डू फॉर कोविड एंटीबॉडी एंड एंड आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू मेक एन ऑर्डर एंड आई वॉज एबल टू डू इट फॉर फ्री सो इंस्टेड ऑफ पेइंग फोर्टीन हंड्रेड आई वॉज जस्ट एबल टू यू नो पे रू पी वन एंड आई आई कॉट द ऑर्डर प्लेस and you know the testing completed and um, i got the report so <coughs> this was really a happy moment like you know uh, you are able to do it uh, for free but this is not good right like from the tech point of view it's a it's a bug and it's a security vulnerability and it's sort of a crime also if you if you continue doing it right like without without paying you are you are wearing services so um, being a you know good person i would say um, i i just tried to report it to the to the, to the concerned authority uh and yeah uh, and they fixed it at the end but yeah I'll, i'll talk about the fixing and fixing part and all towards the end of the video but before that let me just try to show you how i found the bug and you know um, uh, how i was able to place an order for by just paying rupee 1 instead of the actual amount so yeah uh, let's go into that but before uh, before going into more details about it let me just tell you one thing i have um like i like most of you have been messaging me on linkedin like you want mentorship smock interviews from me so uh, so what i did was um, i have signed up on engineboogie.com so engineboogie is a platform where you can get mentorships and mock interviews from various people um and and i'm also there i'm also there registered as an expert and if you want to have any mentorship session or mock interview with me you can just uh, you know visit that website and uh, you can book a session with me and the link of that will be there in the description you can just click on it and you know uh, complete the booking and we will discuss it whatever you want it can be a mock interview it can be a mentorship it can be your career guidance it can be your resume review or anything right depending on what you need uh, we can have uh, we can have that session so yeah uh, let's go into the details of it so first of all let us just try to see you know what is the flow what is the you know uh, happy path like uh, when, when you are actually trying to make a web, uh, make a booking what how how the payment goes through so i have you know at at the product in my cart and that is an antibody test right as i told you i am trying to book an antibody and then um, uh, i choose you know the person for which whom i am booking and then i just you know um, continue from here so you can see um, the details which it is showing so now i have moved ahead and it is showing me the total amount which is 1400 and the patient details you know actually not the patient details but the person who's who's going to which uh, test it then i move to the checkout and in the checkout page i have to fill in some details like you know time date at at, at what time i want to take this service and then the uh, payment gateway like whether i want to pay by paytm or by ebs so the bug uh, i found in uh, paytm ebs was working fine so let me show you the paytm flow so when i click on the paytm um, and I, i i click pay now it goes or it takes me to the uh, paytm page where i i can make actual payment right so it is loading here and next we will be seeing the paytm so um and also you can see in in the calls below you know in the network call the paytm call is being made uh, uh, you know so first first call is this create order call and the second call is this payment call which is actually uh, the redirect call to the paytm gateway right um like fetching the payment gateway details so whenever you are redirecting to a payment gateway there are some details which payment gateway needs so so for that uh, this call is being made and it is returning the payment gateway details as it looks like right so after this call is done we we get redirected uh, redirected to uh paytm and in the paytm you can see the total amount is 1400 right so that is the happy flow uh now if you see clearly like you know the second call which is the payment uh payment call right it is actually taking the amount in the input and and that's what you know um is is making me somewhat curious like there can be some issue so i have copied it as curl and now i'll i'll show you you know what what curl will get you and when when we paste it in the curl what what you will get so um So when you paste it in the curl, you can see uh, you know the whole data is copied. So it will have an order ID, payment gateway, uh, payment payment detail and all. And when I just run it, I get save I save it to a dot html. Now I'll open a dot html like you know to show you what all it returns actually. Uh, right now I have not changed anything. The amount and all are same. Um, uh, so let's see you know what what the original call gave give us the output, and then we'll see if we can you know exploit it some way. So yeah, in the in the response, you can see it's, it returns an HTML, which is which is the uh, payment gateway details again, as I said. So it has lot of details like order amount and all. 
um so yeah uh, so yeah that that's the um, happy flow uh, you know uh, when you are trying to make a booking uh, on srl website now let's try to you know see how i you know made this uh, made, made a booking with by changing the amount or how, how we can you know uh, uh, figure out the issue over here how how we can reduce the amount and those sort of stuff which i did so let, let me show you that now so as I showed you earlier, right, there were two calls being made, create order and payment call. So let me just copy the payment, uh, create order call first as a curl and we'll see, you know, what, what it gives. So we'll just copy it in another, another tab and then we'll see it. It is just making a call at the back end to create an order, right? So we'll just run it and we'll, we'll create a new order ID. So we, we ran it and we, we got a new order ID, which is this 37331, right? Um, now what we need to do is we need, we need, we need to make that payment call, right? Like so that we can, we, we get the payment get with details. So next I'm going to copy the payment call again as curl. So uh, I, I'll just copy it as curl and then um, I'll paste it in the sublime, right? Um, and then we just need to change the order ID over here, right? Like because the order ID which is mentioned over here is the previous one. We need to make the get the payment details for our own order ID. So I change the order ID and I change the amount to one. Right now, let me make this full call as the curl call again. Or I let me execute it, and I, I'll re I'll redirect the response to the b.html. So if I just give you a quick recap, right? Like the previous call, the original one, the previous one had fourteen hundred as the amount, and that we did earlier in the previous call, right? And and when we go to the payment page, right, um, here and here you can see the uh, previous one also had fourteen hundred, and the order ID was the previous one, which is three two four. Here the order ID is three to four, and the amount is fourteen hundred. Right now, in the new one uh, which I have got, um, and, and and which I have changed, um, in that one I have changed the amount. Right. So if you if you go back to my curl call, uh, in the curl call I have changed the amount. You know, back to one. Like from fourteen hundred, I change it to one, and order ID. If you can see, um, it's double three one. Right. So this is for our order ID, and there is a customer ID also in the details, but that's fine. So now let me try to execute the calls. You know, let's see what happens. So I'll execute it and I'll redirect the response to b.html. Now in the b.html, you can see the HTML is generated again with, with the payment gateway details and it has the order amount as well, right? Um, and the, you know, order ID is also 331 and the customer ID is correct one. So everything is correct, but the order amount is changed. So let me just open it, open this new b.html in the browser and let us see what happens. So yeah, here, if you see uh, the when I, when I load the b.html, the order, <coughs> I get redirect to Paytm and the order amount is one it is asking me for you know to just complete the payment so i'll just complete the otp um, and you know i'll also um, complete the full payment so after otp it is asking me for my passcode i'll enter the passcode and then i'll, I'll move forward right so i'll just say so i've entered my passcode and then i'll move forward and i've completed the amount so payment is one and the order is submitted right so by just paying one rupee I have actually you know, completed the payment and my order has been created and you know everything is good now like but the, the, the catch here is I have not actually made any payment or actually I made a payment of one rupee but that's like negligible right as compared to 1400 so you can actually call it like I got it for free so so yeah like order ID is generated and everything is done um, and I, I also get the order confirmation page now let me also try to show you the email right earlier also I got the email so let me try to see if I get the email this time also or not so I will, uh, I will, you know, try to get you show you the email of the confirmation. So as you can see here, right, I have got the full mail of the order confirmation with all the details, like order customer name, the phone number, address, and everything. So I have got the complete order confirmation page, and even in the order confirmation, you can see the order amount it is showing is fourteen hundred. Like actually, I did, I just paid one rupee, but it is showing fourteen hundred, and it also it is also showing that I paid via Paytm. So, so yeah, like this, this is a very big bug, right? Which, which they have in the site, like without even paying the full amount, it is actually showing that I have, I have completed my payment of full amount and the order is confirmed, right? So, cool. Uh, so that was about it. I hope you liked the way, you know, we were able to change the amount and we were able to place the order by just paying rupee one. Um, uh, let me just try to, you know, tell you what, what, what are the issues or uh, why, why, 
how this thing should be fixed at the back end or should have been done so that this issue was not there so the first issue first issue is we are taking the order amount from the client in the payment gateway call right like whenever you're trying to fetch the payment gateway details the order amount is being sent from the client which is not correct the order amount should have been taken directly from the server so order id should have been sent and using the order id the order details should have been fetched at the server and using those order details the amount should have been recalculated and then the payment details uh, or payment gateway details should have been sent back so order amount should not be taken from the client because clients are not something whom you should trust clients can always be tampered like we did the tampering over here and that's why server should not trust the client so these kind of things should not be taken from the clients and you know uh, the server should have be should have recalculated the value of the amount uh, at the back end that's the first issue second issue is uh, there are no proper validations even if the client is sending the final amount let's there there might be some reason because for for that i i don't know uh, if, if they had some reason they had to send the amount send the amount from the client at that time also <laughs> in that case also uh, you they should have you know uh, they should have put in put in some valid validations at the back end like the price is correct and those sort of things so those two things should always be there validations access checks you know pricing um, uh, these 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 things these things these things become really important whenever you are uh, working with backend systems so so i think these uh, if, if the site owner wants to fix it they can also you know uh, do it this way so now coming to the report uh, in fixing part i actually reported the issue to the uh, ceo and head of IT and there are many other people whom I reported. Initially, I did not get any response for for first two three days, but after two three days, I got the response both from the CEO and their IT head. Their IT head actually called me and they asked me for the details. I explained the details to them and yeah, they they said they will fix it. Now when I checked it just just a few hours back, uh, I saw that they have removed the PTM option altogether from their website. I think they will re-add it once they fix it. So now the website is secure from that point of view. I also tried to ask them for the bug bounty if, if they provide some. Um, their IT had told me that um, they will try to see if, if, any, if, 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 if the company has some policy. If they have some, then they will reach back to me. I have. They have not yet reached back to me. They have not um send me anything around it but yeah it's fine like uh, my goal was not to get the big bug bounty i mean if i if i got the big bounty bug bounty then it would have been i would have been more happy or you know who doesn't want more money everyone wants more money right so so yeah i would it, it would have it would have been more happier uh, for me to if i if i've got if i had got the big bug bounty but yeah it's fine even if they did not provide me a bug bounty uh, the main goal here is to get the website fixed right so they that that's i think uh, what i achieved so that's fine um great then i think that's all for this video i hope you really like the video you enjoyed and also major goal is here is you know to make you understand um how you should go about building website if let's say you are going to build a website tomorrow uh, how can you avoid such kind of mistakes from your website right so uh, so the two takeaways from here is like server side checks should be there and clients should never be trustable right uh, you should never trust your clients everything should be done at the server so so yeah, i think that's all uh, for this video i hope uh, you liked it you enjoyed it if you if you have any suggestions do put it in the comments and yeah do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification like bell icon so that whenever i upload future videos you get the notification right and yeah that's all uh, for uh, for this video uh, i i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye